Welcome back, my fellow duplicates, to Oxygen Not Included. So, in today's episode, I've got an interesting little project that we're working on here. And it involves something that I don't usually work with. So what I'm going to be working with over here is the saltwater geyser, dealing with salt water and using the desalinator. I haven't really messed around with these too much. So the game plan of what I'm trying to do over here is to desalinate the water using the tube desalinator <laughs> and then convert that into oxygen. Mm. And the idea is that once I have oxygen, I can then feed puffs since I should have enough of these. Where'd all my puffs go? Uh oh. Oh, there they are. Hello, puffs. The point is, I want to go ahead and make those into dense puffs, just like this guy right here. See, doesn't he look happy? So the idea is that I'm going to ranch dense puffs to produce oxalite and maybe a little bit of food, since I have so much water available to me, since, you know, this thing's going to put out a lot of it. Uh, one of the things I need to be worried about here, though, is heat. Because this thing's going to put out a lot of salt water, 9.8 kilograms per second, whenever it's running, which is about every other cycle or so. But it's going to do it at 95 degrees Celsius. So, by the time I get that out of there, and then up through this, it's still going to be 95 degrees. It's going to be hot. Now, I figure it's probably easier to cool the oxygen that comes out of the electrolyzer as compared to cooling the water that goes into the electrolyzer. Simply because gas is a lot easier to cool than liquids. How much easier? Well, let's look it up. Well, if we take a look at water here, we have specific heat capacity of 4.1 dutz per gram degrees Celsius. And if you look at oxygen here, you can see that the specific heat capacity is one. So it should be um, like four times easier to cool the oxygen. So I've already made up a lot of this stuff. I was just kind of watching <laughs> watching the Indy 500 while I was playing this. Uh, and this stuff here is already made of steel, except for, except for that. I'm going to try to make a vacuum inside here. What is that horrible sound? Is somebody trapped in here? Oh, well, well, what's going on in here? We have two Sweetles stuck right inside of here. <laughs> okay, save them, meep. There they are. <laughs> These critters, I tell you what, what am I gonna do with them? All right, so additional things that I need to build up here. Well, first and foremost, I don't think having a gas pump made of gold amalgam is gonna work here. I built them out of gold amalgam because I just wanted to have them in place. But I think everything inside of here needs to be steel. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe I don't need to do that. What is their overheat temperature? 125 degrees. No, no, don't deconstruct it. All right, so what I need to do above this is we need to have a, yet another cooling loop thing like this. So I need aqua tuners and a uh, steam turbine, which is gonna be needed because if I have nuclear stuff up here as well, you know, that stuff's hot. So if we go on over here to power, I should have just the right amount of space up here to put in something like that. And I have more than enough ceramic these days, so I should be able to put that in here. <laughs> As I say that, I don't have enough ceramic these days. Okay, we'll make it out of igneous. This would be a good way to go to get to all this salt water. Ooh, fossil. That would be really useful. Is that water weed? Ooh. Always good. I like those. I did have a slight issue with my foods. Mm, we, I accidentally sucked up poop and delivered it to where I'm storing my food. Okay, in case you're wondering, if you're new at this, you don't want to do that. All right, I'm also trying to figure out where am I going to go with my new arrangement here. Because I did finish up the, the other mm, apartments up here. So I now have I have room for 12 duplicates here. I only have 11. And I've got a new one named Name Me. <laughs> I'm going to rename you. Your name is Emily. Thank you for continuing to be a Patreon supporter and all that. Welcome back to the base. But we will be looking for one more. Dupes, why are you so idle? So inside of here, this is where we're going to do more liquid cooling loops. Loop. Aha! Aqua tuna. I'll put one down right there, but I do need another one just for the sake of actually making more of them. So I do have enough for steel. What do I have? Lime? I only have enough for 10. I'm going to have to work on 
lime production, which I guess technically I am. I do have poke shells going on over here. So that's something. I've noticed the second these grow up, <laughs> they usually are pissed off because there's an egg right here. It's made for some interesting encounters. I am back to having plastic production with my glossy direct coats. Hey, hey, what are you doing, dupes? The last thing you're supposed to ever do is nothing. Bunch of slackers. Ooh, I've got gold now. Oh, yes. All right, so here's how this is going to go. Gold right there, right next to the door. That should make it nice and cool. I'll do some gold right there. Again, making this nice and cool. And gold right there. Oh. So then I'll bring this liquid right on over here. Check its temperature. Yeah, that one worked out pretty good. Now, as far as power, I'm already stringing this thing all the way through my base. Sorry, dopes. Just whatever you do, don't look at the decor. Okay. Oh, there. Where should I do all of my oxalate production? I was going to put it right over here, but that's where I want my nuclear stuff. And by looking at it, I don't, I'm not going to have enough space there. So I guess I'm going to have to go over here to the right and just dig all of this out. You know what? Before I go and bring that to there, I should actually go ahead and bring it right on up. There might be some other things that I need to cool with this as well. I wonder if I can do this. If I go over to my navigation thing here, I do have like a special digging arrangement. Eh, eh, eh. One of these is it. Where is it? My super digger. That's not it. Nope. That's, ooh, I should build that. Um, <laughs> I've made so many things in this game. Aha, there it is. Dig my duplicates. We'll see how many of them get stuck. Well, that lasted about two seconds. Now we're already stuck. Come on, lay low. Lay low. No. no. All right, so now the first thing I need to do here is fill up this line with some coolant. So how I'm going to do that is I'm just going <clears> to <throat> make this priority number one so that the salt water that comes out of here but then go up over there, there, there. And I think that'll be just fine. If we take a look at salt water, I think it can actually go up uh, fairly well. That, that is liquid salt, completely different salt water. And it turns into steam at 99. Okay, so it's not quite polluted water, but it'll be okay. Let's go ahead and dig this out and uncover it. There you go, Emily. Oh, you ran away. No. <laughs> Can I analyze this without un uncovering it real quick? That would be nice. Unreachable. Not permitted. Okay, never mind. Oh, see, now it's starting to move. It knew I was looking at it. Oh, easy. You know, come to look at this power, I could actually go ahead and just use the big power wire here. I could do that. And if I really wanted to, like, automate this thing, if I have, like, issues with the power, I can always just automate the switch that runs that runs this kind of stuff. So I could do a power shutoff right here and, you know, run automation to that if I really care. But this will be a vacuum, so I don't have to worry about it. Aha. Yeah, this one up here, is, this is a little bit more tricky. So I think I'm just going to run a transformer up to that one. How is this working? Meep, what are you doing? How are you magicking this one? What are you doing? Meep? Meep? Clay, I somehow broke your game. I don't know how dupes can reach like that. Leave it up to Meep. There's always a... <laughs> You're so tricky, dude. Oh, that's not looking too good there. I think you just dug yourself into a corner. You, you might want to not dig the floor out from beneath you there. Living dangerously. Oh boy, in case the stakes weren't high enough, let's just throw all my dupes in here. That way, whenever, when people get stuck, there's nobody around to save them. <laughs> well, I mean, there are, but you know what I mean. Why is there no power to this? What's going on here? Ah. Doo -doo. There we go. Now there's power. Now things are running. Um, hydrogen generator. You're going to go right down here. Don't really care what you do. So long as we just don't worry about that hydrogen. We'll turn it into fuel or something at some point here, but for now, I'm just going to burn it up. Let's go ahead and uncover this to get the salt water up and running. And what I should do up here, is just put a little liquid vent, temporary job, just to kind of bring some water into this loop. Flip all these doors back to auto because I'm about ready to use them. There we go. Oh, buddy, Lilo! You weren't ready for that one. This thing was ready to go. Let's sweep that up real quick. <laughs> uh, Lerda. You're going to have fun analyzing that one. 
At least you're fast. All right, there we go. Now we've got a lot of water up there. We can go ahead and just deconstruct that. We don't need that anymore. That'll turn into steam. Okay, just filling up everything I need here. Oh, that's not, that's not good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry if you can hear this leaf blower. <laughs> my, na my neighbor's just must have got a brand new leaf blower or something. Been playing with it all day. So if you hear an awkward droning in the background, yeah, that's what that is. All right, let's take a look at the liquid loop, see what we got going on here. So I've got salt water flowing in. It's not quite a hundred percent just yet, but it is above what 30 degrees I set it right there. So it will keep doing what it's doing, which will hopefully cool things down while making other things hot. Pulling a vacuum down here, that's just about done. And actually pulling a vacuum right on up here as well. I have the extra power these days, so I can kind of use it as much as I want. Look at all these. Mm. Ooh, look at it. Hey, everything's working the way I want it to go now. Okay, awesome. So what I've got going on here, salt water's flowing up. We're filling up this loop, priority number one, because it's, you know, it goes in the white before it goes past it. And then um, everything else is working out because the water is going through the desalinators here turning into clean water, but it's at 92 degrees Celsius. So it's hot, super hot. But the heat inside of here is 30 something degrees Celsius because the liquid that's flowing around is actually cooled. Oh, is it that? And Lerda's down here catching fire. Um, Cause that's how that happens. Oh, and now you're exhausted. Well, at least you fell asleep out there. Lerda, where do you sleep? Did I even give you a bed? I think it did. Operate with your mask on. That way you can stay in there and cook a little longer. Here. All right, Lerda, get back to it. Oh, guess what? Steam showed up. See, there you go, Lerda. Perfect. How are you not catching fire? Okay, there you are. Now you're catching fire. Okay, so I've got a slight issue here. I overfilled this loop. So what I need to do is empty out just one piece of it or two pieces, just so that I have enough room for everything to go around. So I'm using that uh, the tool that allows you to empty the liquid pipes. And I do have a plumber duplicate, so I should be able to take care of this. Pejanua's got it. There we go, two, that should work. Now, if we take a look at this, this should be nice and cool. So I'm actually cooling the doors, which kind of cools everything that goes through it. Look at that, 26 degrees Celsius, very nice. Now, the thing is I can temperature control this um, and, I, and I will need to, by the way, because when it comes to a dense puffed, which I am, hitting all the wrong keys. Dense puffs like comfort range between 30 degrees and 65 degrees Celsius, which is kind of important why this is all, all here, because that's actually a little bit warmer than where I'd like to have the rest of my base, which should be, you know, 20s. So what I can do here is I can say, well, let's make this about 40 degrees Celsius. Therefore, the oxygen that comes out of here is gonna be a little bit warmer, right in that comfort range. Very nice. Come on, Lerda, come on. You can do it. I thought you were fast at this kind of stuff, Lerda. All right, so another thing I can do here is I can play around with tanks a little bit. So if I wanted to store up more um, water for the oxygen, I can do that. I can also take a little bit of that water and I can run it back into my base for other things as well, which I might want to cool though. I might want to run it through like a heat exchanger, which I can do right here, especially if I were to expand this loop just a little bit. Another thing I've done here is I've made this wall double thick. Uh, the reason is we might get some decent pressure inside of here and I don't want the wall to break and then flood my base with salt water. I, you know, things like that, they can kind of show up out of nowhere and suddenly ruin your day. So just trying to think ahead a little bit. Ideally, this is something I don't want to have right here because that's just hot. It happened faster than I was able to mess with it. These are the quality dupes I'm getting. Plus husbandry, decreased husbandry, best duplicate ever. <laughs> All right, let me try something real quick. This will be, this will be interesting. What I'm looking to do here is to use some of my cooling capacity over here because this thing is really, really efficient. I mean, it's like hardly even making any steam. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and tap into the same line here to try to cool down a little bit of water. Not a ton, but a little bit. So what I'm looking to do here is have the overflow 
Essentially, I want to fill up a tank right here. Um, but if we have too much water, right, that tank is completely full, then I want it to be able to go a different direction. So if I fill up this tank with water, which I should do because this thing runs a lot, right, and we have nice clean water there, then it will jump right on over here, right? So that's its overflow. But I don't want to store it up into this next tank until it is nice and cool, right? A reasonable temperature. I don't want to pipe 90 some degree water into my base. So I'll kick that out right on over here. And then right down here, I'll have a liquid shut off with a liquid thermal sensor. Okay, so this is gonna tell me what temperature I have going through here. And if it's cool enough, then I'll kick it out and store it in this tank. What I want to have over here is a heat exchanger. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I'll definitely just explain this one once I figured it out. <laughs> you come on over here, and then you go in, out, out, up, yeah, uh -huh. do, 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 yeah, yeah, okay, <laughs> something a bit like that, sure. All right, and just for good measure, I'm actually gonna go ahead and get rid of this block right here. I don't like that. Too much heat. It's coming out of there. So I'll go in here and I will just rewire this and use a conductive wire to run that. I mean, that makes a lot more sense considering I already have this right here. All right, so there we can see part of this is working. We've got the salt water moving up here. The water is moving over there, storing up inside of the tank. Excellent. So what I should see here is these gold tiles will get nice and cool. Well, maybe not real cold, but 30 degrees or so. Not too bad. All right, here's another thing I need to do. This loop is not quite full, so I'm just gonna... Oops, I was wrong. All right, all sorts of crazy things are happening here. Let's see if I can even explain it. Um, okay, so the water's flowing up over here. It is flowing on over here, which should make this have a nice continuous loop. Although it is not doing it. We need more bridges. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So now I've got water flowing in here, 70 some degrees. It's flowing around and around. You can see the temperature is starting to drop. Once this gets below 40 degrees Celsius, I then kick it out over here into the tank. Oh. I might even be able to get it down a little bit lower, like 38 degrees. So it's not huge, but it is something to kind of cool that water down ever so slightly so that I can then use it in the rest of my base if I really want to. Ha! Ooh, and we have analyzed the salt water geyser now. So I can go ahead and just not let dupes come in here. I did have a little bit of uh, salt water I had to clear out of some pipes, so I put this in here, which I'm guessing will now be destroyed. So this thing's really active. It's active 83 cycles out of every 118. A lot of water out of that thing. And the way I designed this sort of cooler over here, so I should be able to go around and do this number right here and insulate it. All right, but real quick, I need to go ahead and take care of this. We need to get all of this stuff out of here, which means sweep it all. Try not to die. I know it's hot. Oh, all this steam is getting out and ooh, it's hot. <laughs> go, go dupes, no, don't stop to. Do the finger bang thing. Go, go! Emily! Emily! Oh no! I don't think Emily's gonna make it. <gasps> what? What is this sliver of life? Barely. <laughs> Or is the puddle going to do you in? Wow. All right. Let me just take a look at your health here real quick. Health. One. <laughs> you have one HP, Emily. Congrats. You are the closest duplicate I've ever had to being dead without actually being dead. I mean, it's got to stand for something. How about you head on down here real quick? Oh, okay. You're going the wrong way, the, the cot's over here. Is Emily gonna starve to death because you don't have food? You're so injured you can't even eat? Go get some food. 
There you go. Mmm, delicious. Right next to the pooper. You know how this works. Poo Tank, welcome to the base. You're gonna be our chef. Hey, we did dig out all of this. That's a nice accomplishment. Boop. There you go. Oops, dupes, you went a little bit too crazy with the digging up here and now... Oh, you're exposed to the cold. We're gonna have to fill that in. <laughs> Duplicate Plinko. All right, so the area over here is a little bit too hot. So we're gonna cool it down now that I have the capacity to do so. Uh, not minus 20. <laughs> Somebody out. <laughs> All right, look at that. Ooh, nice, cool oxygen production. I like this. This is kind of a neat thing. I haven't, I've never cooled the oxygen production a bit like this. Now, maybe I have, but I don't know. I think it's cool. All right, so now I need an airborne bait or whatever in order to get my critters over here. So we'll do one with slime. We'll do some like this. We'll just get them all to come on over here. There we go. And that means I should be able to go on over here and open up these doors. And finally, let the puffs free. <laughs> Unfortunately, this puffed, I was just looking at its age. 64 of 75. I don't... I'm not sure we're gonna get an egg out of you. Come on, critter. Mm-hmm. Thinking about it. This might be a multi-stage process here. You go there, you go there, you go here. The bait's right there. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. Eh? Huh? Ah? Huh? It's over here on the right side. Think about it. <laughs> We've got a real dense puff here. And doesn't know where to go. Okay, you can see this one, yeah? Yeah? There you go, there you go. There's another trap nearby. You know you wanna go there. Oh, you're figuring it out. Just need you to go up. Oh, yes. There we go. Look at this puffed move. Beautiful. Congratulations. You're not the densest puffed in the colony. Yeah, my jokes, uh, sorry. No, don't leave. Okay, I guess what I need to do now is build up a ranch for that guy. Oh yeah, this will end well. <laughs> there we go. Got my little critter inside of there. Set that to auto, set this to high priority. Come on in. Oh yes, smart puffed. Don't, don't, don't do, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, no. There we go, there we go. Now, quick, make me some dense puffed eggs. So the goal here is to just have a bunch of these dense puffs here, uh, just pooping out the eggs as fast as possible. We'll get a bunch of them in a spot, um, and that's where I'm gonna suck down all this oxygen, make a bunch of ox light, um, and then possibly once we get the extra meat out of them, we'll also get some food out of them, so that'll be awesome. And then down here, you know, we got a little bit of salt water or whatever, I could just dip that extra ox light in the water, and it'll be good to go. So at any rate, I think that was a pretty good little project here. Look at that, three kilograms of steam in there. The temperature's actually pretty reasonable. I'm, I'm bringing the temperature back up, by the way. I'm not gonna leave it that cold. Uh, I do have some extra water that I'm able to get out, and that is relatively cool, 37 degrees Celsius. Not too bad. Lots and lots of salt water down here. And the makings of a dense puffed ranch farm for oxalite so I can give myself rocket fuel. We can fly to other planets on poop. <laughs> but for now, that's all I got time for today. Hope you guys have enjoyed this little episode here of Oxygen Not Included. Stay awesome, guys. Peace. Brothgar, out.